Hey guys, welcome back to Lead Tech Media Alternative. Um, okay, so today I have decided to put up a video um, <coughs> um, of a build, excuse me, of a build that, um, it's a Z97 build uh, for gaming, sort of a budget build, so nothing really fancy. Um, so um, I'll walk you through the parts and the reason why I picked them. Please leave the feedback down below, but I, I personally think this is probably the, the best way to go, you know. Okay, so starting off with the motherboard, Asus Z170 uh, AR motherboard, right? Yeah, 1151 Z97 chipset, uh, 4 times 3400 MHz memory DDR4, PCI 3.0, 1.1 M.2 port, 6 SATA 3 ports, USB 3.1, Type-C USB 3.1, Type-A, 2 times USB 3s, Gigabit LAN, HDMI, Display Port, ATX form, backed by 3 uh, Asus warranty. Alright. This, this thing is, it's good, like it is, look at that, look at all the things, you have Sera Express, okay, so this is future proof, you got the M.2, uh, 32 gigabyte per second support, right, you got Crystal Sound um, 3, you got 3 times uh, three times PCI 3 lanes for SLI 3-way configuration, you, can't, you cannot go 4-way, I don't think you can, uh, yeah, as you can see, this photo is actually self-explanatory. Self you, you can overclocking, one click, overclocking, you just click and overclock. This is what's good about the Asus motherboards. They're really made easy for people to overclock and just click, boom, see you later, you know? You don't need to go on, on BIOS and fuck around with the voltage and all the bullshit. So, yeah, as you can see, look. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting a bit sick there. DDR4 overclocking, you can overclock the automatically overclock the DDR4 memory. Uh, yeah, so it's good. It's good board. Especially, this is really good. You got the Sera Express fucking future proofing, like right there. Anyway, moving on. Intel i5 6500, uh, 6, right? Alright, so the reason why I picked i5, I, don't, I believe there's no really need for to go with anything more than i5. It's 3.6 gigahertz turbo. Like, I have. Uh, x79 platform right now uh, 3820 running at 3.3.6 right and still running all my games on max without even utilizing 70% of my load on CPU so there's no real need to go for nothing fancy you could go for fancier stuff like here but why would you spend extra money there's no real need for it no need whatsoever my friends moving on uh, the GPU I picked the uh, EVGA 970 ACX 2.0 4 gig EVGA Look, uh, you know, look, 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 look how fast this thing is. Like, there's no really need to, to talk, you know. 1050 megahertz um, base clock with uh, 1178 megahertz boost clock, 4 gig of memory, uh, 256 bit DDR5, 664 cube cores, PCI 3, uh, 2 HDMI ports, display port, and th this thing looks nice. I don't think it's got a backplate though doesn't but you can play look 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 at the res you can play you know like it's 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 a good thing to have i don't think it's got the actually no it's a dual slot card too so i don't think it's good backplate but it doesn't really matter anyway moving on okay M samsung a50 evo series 120 gig ssd drive personally i picked this one just for the windows i don't think you need anything bigger for windows and just general software like uh, firefox and all that good stuff I have the same software and it's actually really good. Um, you can actually install the um, install the software that come uh, that you have. You can actually download it off their website, and uh, you can actually achieve higher performance because it actually tweaks the tweaks the it actually tweaks the SSD drive. As you can see here, you got the rapid mode. You actually, just click and boom. You click and reset your computer and boom. It will it will actually tweak up the, the SSD drive. The control itself for for faster read and write anyway uh moving on uh, um moving on to uh western digital vd blue one terabyte just normal hard drive this is actually for storage uh 7200 rpms nothing really fancy it does the job really for storage and you can store your games there uh, I, f I i personally believe that um you should start your games on the normal mechanical drive instead of wasting the SSD and you're gonna still wear it out by continuously utilizing the games you know it's not gonna make it it's not gonna improve 
frames in games like your FPS is gonna be the same in games doesn't matter where you install it okay so moving on to two of these beautiful PCU Cooler Master 750 volt 88 percent efficient <coughs> excuse me uh, 120 mil fan uh, modular cables so there there we go this is this good uh, I'm not sure if they've sleeved or not I think they're sleeved cables and this is good enough you can actually fit one more graphic card in there easily it's gonna you're easily gonna be able to 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 run SLI on this I think they actually claim you can actually run SLI something here I'm not sure but anyway moving on course of vengeance LPX uh, low profile memory um let me check 3133 megahertz cdr4 black it actually got um designed for high, po high performance overclocking xmp2 uh, 2.0 support for uh, trouble free or medic overclocking right like i said to you guys before if you on this motherboard one click overclocking overclocks your cpu and overclocks your ram at the same time i think this is it here where is it uh let me show you guys i don't know where it is um um, boom, 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 boom. Anyway, it's, it's even the software when you saw uh, Asus all sweet. It's there. Okay, so low profile design, available multi different colors, uh, pure aluminium heat spreaders, right? It's a good thing to have. Like it, these heat spreaders are good. They're good, good, good for heat. Okay, moving on to this. All this is gonna go inside the Corsair Cabidi or whatever. Hundred R uh, mid tower case with window. Uh, vents on the sides for air can come in. You can actually fit two fans at the top here. Uh, two fans on the top. Um, you can actually, I think you can actually fit three fans on here. Oh, sorry, two fans. But I would highly recommend removing this stupid drive cage, mount your SSD at the back of the case, put the Velcro tape here, put the, S uh, put the normal hard drive in here. Beautiful. I, I forgot to mention the video. I had it uh, with the uh, with the cooler. Of course, the H one hundred die will easily fit in here on top of the case easily. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, hope you guys liked the video. I think this is probably the best option to go. You can you can always change things up, you know. If you if you if you don't really have a budget for thousand dollars, you can build the Z ninety seven system. That's actually a killer killer system. But yeah, no, this is just the basic. Um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it and um, keep, um, please subscribe and like for more videos. Thank you.